Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, que no Ánimo. All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, man. Uh, Triple G and Murata has been postponed. What's in my hair? Oh, there we go. Get that out of there, man. Still under the weather, uh, like day was. It's been a week. So, um, but, you know, obviously, getting better. So, it's the most important part. Sometimes, process takes time. But, uh, shout out to Box News Playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. My social media links in the description. So, the Nani Golovkin versus uh, Rayona Morata postponed due to travel restrictions. So, uh, I don't know, you know, the likelihood of him uh, and Canelo fighting in May now. Is it going to be pushed back a month? Is it going to be pushed back a year? Is it going to be pushed back? How far will it be pushed back is the million dollar question, okay? And the you know, idea, I read somewhere, I'm not sure how, how concrete this was, but I read somewhere where they spent uh, 130 million U.S. dollars on this fight. Uh, uh, is it taken? Taken? Uh, you know the promotional company over there. So it says December 29th unification fight. Can we see this? Yeah, unification fight between IBF middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin and I Triple G Golovkin, the WBA 60 pound champion. Ryan Murata has been postponed due to travel restrictions to Japan. Golovkin versus Murata have been scheduled to take place at the Soup Arena in uh, Japan. Can't pronounce that. Japanese government is blocking foreign visitors at this time uh, as a precaution to prevent the spread of uh, the mutated form, former of COVID-19 called uh, Omicron variant. ESPN is reporting the news on December 29th, Golovkin Murata fight being postponed until 2022. Since Golovkin Murata to reschedule, there's still no date for when Golovkin Murata fight will take place, but it's likely to take place in the first quarter of the year as long as the Japanese government allows foreign visitors back in the country. Well, you got to do it outside the country. How about that? 39 year old Golovkin, 41 1 and 1. 36 K has been training in Hollywood, Florida for the fight against 35 year old Murata. This is an important fight for Golovkin because it allows him to become a two time middleweight unified champion. Golovkin has three belts. Uh, Three belt middleweight uh, in September 2018 when he was beaten by Canelo Alvarez in the 12 round majority decision. Since that fight, Golovkin has won his last three fights. With travel to Japan cut off, logical move for Golovkin would be taking on WC middleweight champion Jamal Charlo, WBO champion Demetrius Andrade. Both of those fighters would jump at a chance to fight Golovkin next if they were offered the fight. However, it's uh, highly unlikely Golovkin will go into a direct in that direction of an uh, interim fight with Jamal or Boo Boo. I think that'd be more like a soft touch. He said, I'm deeply, Golovkin said, I'm deeply disappointed that the fight in Japan has been postponed, but the health and safety of the public must always be a priority. Look forward to returning to the ring against Murata as soon as possible. So, fans want Triple G to face Canelo, Charlo, and Andre. I mean, yeah, we know all that. So, I mean, um, we, I mean, for the last, like the last couple of days, you know, people been saying that this can happen. So if you've been paying attention and close to this story, you know that, you know, you've been watching the news, you knew this was a high possibility that this can be, uh, this fight was going to be postponed. So like I said, if you look at his, his activity is not that, his activity level is not that good. And, you know, and, you know, Murata, you know, it's been, you know, he ain't been, you know, as active, but he has been fresher than Triple G. And since fighting Canelo, he only fought three times since 2018. He has yet to debut this year. So he fought Steve Rose. Darvachenko was a really tough fight. Took a lot of them. Camille Zamani fought last uh, December 18. I mean, it's a lot of fighters that have fought, hadn't fought since last November 18 in, in um, September. It's been a lot of them, man. Uh, Earl Spence, you know, Crawford, till he just fought Sean Porter. So, um, the activity level has been ain't been that good, bro, for a lot of these fighters. But when you're 39 years old, going on 40 in April, I don't think uh, I don't think that's the move. 
you know, if he can't get that fight the next couple months, he need to, uh, you know, if you're overtraining too, he need to go in there and fight an interim fight. You know, I ain't saying he got to be on drive, triple G or, or boo boo or nothing like that. But, uh, you know, um, but, uh, I mean, shit, I ain't saying he got to be Laura, maybe Luis Ayers, if I think he fight this weekend. You know, Arthur Cova, some somebody to keep the juices flowing. Monty Yale, if he's available, San Centennial. You know, somebody, you know, somebody, you know, not just to keep you active. Ain't got to push you like that, but make you reset camp. But sitting around, waiting around for Murata, I understand. They put $130 million into that fight. I get it. But you got to keep it moving. I know you want that Canelo fight, so. Mm -hmm. I guess that month that fight only make that makes sense financially over there because why not you know do it in somewhere else? You got you got Germany, you got United Kingdom, you know, you ain't gotta do it in America per se. You know, Monte Carlo, got a lot of money there. But um like I said, when somebody put $130 million, you know, into a fight, well, you know. He ain't gonna get that return too many other places but Japan. But um, like I said before, I think this was a fight that might go down the middle, depending on what's left for Triple G. If Triple G, if Triple G still got it, you know, it should be a fairly easy fight. If he don't, you know, Murad is a different fighter over there, a really good fighter. So yeah, this was no fight that you could take lightly because when Murad go over there, he turned into Superman. And he could punch a little bit. So when you look at him. He fought Rob Brand in the United States. He didn't look good at all. So they already took his took the fight off box record already. Jesus. So uh I don't even know if they ever had it up, but uh but yeah, when he go over there, he stoppages. See? United States loss. Uh, um so he only fought outside his own country. Uh, let's see. He fought in uh, Morocco, Morocco, uh, three times. So, you know, or four times. Mike, you got the Park Theater, got MGM Grand. You got, uh, he fought in China, my bad. Yeah, he fought, yeah, okay. So, you know, nicely traveled. But um, he old too. I mean, he, he's a fresher older guy because he's like thirty six years old, I believe he is. Yeah, thirty five. He be thirty six in January. Big guy. I mean, seventy five inch arms, six uh, six foot and a half, compared to Golovkin. You know, uh, he taller, reaches longer than Golovkin. So, <coughs> excuse me. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, he ain't been stopped. Uh, so. Like I said, he got a tough component, gold medal winner. You know, so like I said it can go down. You know, Golov it could be the end of Golovkin as we know it. You know, Golovkin people Golovkin is the product of matchmaker. Good fighter, but never been challenged. He was in Germany, him and the WBO, him and the WBO middleweight champion, Arthur Abraham was in the same same area, never fought each other. That makes no sense. So all the excuses why he didn't come to the United States, you know what I'm saying? He could have fought he could have fought Arthur Abraham for the WBO. At least he would have won a real belt, his first belt turn turned from an interim belt to a regular belt to a to a super belt. Him and Arthur Arthur Abraham was there, and Arthur Abraham was knocking shit down back in the day. If you want to hold on. He was knocking shit down. You know, he oh nine forty one. They were on the same age. When he was middleweight champion. Uh, let me see. Right here. My baby was IBF middleweight champion. I thought it was WBO. He's IBF middleweight champion. He's in Germany. You know? And he didn't want fight him. Doesn't make no sense. You know, they both are both on the same age. You know, but, you know, Triple G is Triple G. Fucking bum basher. 
Man, let me know what you got, girls and guys. Think thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We have a business question, call, response, your video plus all my social media links, description. Twitter's the fastest way, and Facebook and Instagram. If you want to reach out, want to make a financial donation, cash app CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, they follow me in the description. Thanks for the donate, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, that subscribe button, there's a bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, go live, drop the video. One time for one time, peace.